Right, this week in maths, we've been looking at money. Yesterday we looked at different coins, and we looked at how, um, when we go to a shop, what the bill looks like. To start with today, we're going to look at the value of different coins. And to start off with, I'm going to show you some coins. I'm going to ask some children to tell me how much the coins are worth. They're like the ones we see in our pockets and our wallets, okay? But they're a bit bigger, so we can see them clearly. So, hello Louise. Two pence. Two pence. Yad. Two pound. A two pound coin, good. Uh, Zahid? 20p. A 20p coin? Kimyan? 5p. 5p coin, good. Hazel? 10p coin. A 10p coin. Xiaomi? 1p. A little 1p coin, not worth much. Uh, Amina? 1 pound. A 1 pound coin, great. And there's one more coin. What's the one coin we're missing? Chloe? 50 pence. 50 pence oh. coin. Now, there are some notes we have as well. I've only got two here. What's this note, note worth, Jared? Uh, 10 pounds. 10 pounds. Abdullahi, what's this note worth? 25 pounds. 5 pound note, well done. OK, a couple of volunteers at the front, please. Medina, Zahid, and Helen Louise. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give them a coin or a note to hold, and I'm going to ask a child to tell me what's the total value of the coins and notes they're holding. So let's see how we get on with this. Oops, that's gone off. Yad, what's that worth? One pound fifty-one pence. This time, Chloe. What have we got here? How much is that worth? What's this, Chloe? Five pounds. This? Two pence. And this? One, ten pence. Ten pence. Add it together is? Can someone help her? Kim Yan? One pound twelve. One pound twelve. Is she right, Rachel? What's the answer? Five pound twelve. Five pound twelve, and Chloe, yeah? Five <coughs> pound notes plus two P. Five pounds and two p plus ten p. Five pounds and twelve p. Let's try one more. This time for Lauren. Let's see how good Lauren is at her coin recognition. Lauren, what have we got there? Show Lauren, please. Two pounds fifty-one. Look carefully. One pound twenty-one. Two pounds twenty-one. Okay. Thanks, girls and Zahid. Go and sit down, please. Right now, lots of you have been asking me what is the tape for on the floor. Now you're going to find out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on the board, I'm going to divide the board into two halves. And on both sides of the board, I'm going to put some coins. And I'm going to ask you to tell me which side is worth more, which is the greater amount. Okay? The first one, I'm going to ask Amelia to tell us. Then we're going to play the game. So, Amelia, I'm going to show you on one side some coins, the other side some coins. And I want you to tell me which side is the greater value. The left-hand side is the worst. This side here? Yeah. 15p worth more than 12p. Or we can say 15p is greater than 12p. Remember these symbols? Greater than and less than and equals. So 15p is greater than 12p. Right, very sensibly, stand up. I'm going to show you on the board some more coins. If this side is greater, I want you to move this way. If this side is greater, I want you to move this way. I don't want you to speak. I'm going to ask one child to tell me how they knew the answer. So don't follow someone else. Think for yourself, and I'll ask someone. Here we go. Look carefully. Shh. I'll put them a bit higher up so you can see them clearly. Have a look, and move to the side that you think is the biggest. Lots going this way. Joe's still deciding. OK. So we all think that this side is greater than this side. Um, Danielle, how do you know? Why have you gone that way? Because 40p is bigger than, um, 40p is bigger than 31p. Good. 40p is greater than 31p. Fantastic. Good listening. Here's another one. Look carefully and move. Don't follow your neighbour. Think for yourself and work it out. 
Here we go. I'll put them up so, oops, so you can see. Oops. Which one do you think, which side is the biggest? Look at you all working out, well done. Okay. Everyone's gone this way. Great. So we think that this side is greater than this side, or this side is less than this side. Yad, why are you over there? Because um, I added this side's one first, and it made 65 pence. And Good. then I added this side one, and it made 62 pence. So I went with this side. Great. Because 65 pence is greater than 62 pence. Here's another one. One coin on this side this time, five coins on that side. Do we need to move? Have a look, work it out, see what you think. Can you move away from the board, please? Because I can't see. Let's ask someone over here. Zahid, why are you over here? I added 10 and 10, and it's 20. I add 2, I added um, 5, it's 25. I added 2, and it made 26. And then I added another 2, and it made 29. And it made 29, and um, the right-hand side is bigger than the left-hand side because um, the right-hand side has 29 and all the left-hand side only has 20. Good boy. 29 is greater than 20. Well done. Good explanation there. I like that. Let's do one more. This time, just one coin here and lots of coins on this side. This one. Two pounds. Twenty. Two pounds. One pound. It's this size. This Okay, go where you think. Oh. Okay, and listen. Looking this way. We've all gone the same way again. Let's ask someone to explain what they've done. Not liking that noise, show me. Rachel, why are you there? Because um, um, two pound is more than one pound ninety. Ninety. Ninety-five. Ninety-eight. Yeah, two pounds is greater than ninety-eight. Well done. Good listening. I think you've got a good idea of how these coins, how they add up, and what their value is. Okay. What I just do now is to sit in a nice big circle around the carpet. Can you sit down, please? Can you sit down, please? Thank you. Right. OK, looking at the board, you can see what we're learning about today. Adding money using, using the column addition method. Column addition is important, because when we go shopping and we buy things, we always get a receipt. And here on the board, I've got a receipt. A copy of a receipt I got when I went shopping once. And the receipt, receipt shows the different items, their price. And then it adds it up and gives us the total. It tells me how much money I gave the person behind the till. And it tells me how much change they gave me back. OK? So, looking at the receipt first of all, a few questions. Uh, Lauren, what's the most expensive item I bought in the shop? Um, the burger. Are you sure? No, the carrots. The carrots. Carrots, very expensive, £1.37. Zahid, what's the cheapest item I bought? Um, the cheapest item you, you bought was um, the grapes. The no. grapes? What do you think, Medina? Milk. Yeah? 73 pence is smaller, it's cheaper than 87 pence. Hazal? Can I have a go? 
We're going to move on, okay? If you look very carefully at the receipt, you'll see that it's in columns. And this is what today's learning objective is all about. Adding up using column additions. You've got the pennies, the tens, you've got the decimal point, all in a nice straight line, and a pound. If my receipt was all wonky, it would be much harder to add up. Like in our, in our maths books, when we add things up in our maths books, I will say to you, one number in each square in nice columns, so adding up and subtracting is much, much easier. Okay, now there's a reason why we're in a circle, because once again, like last time, I've been shopping. You lot can move forward now. All I've bought is some food items and also some toilet roll. Okay. Oh, two bananas, don't need those. An apple. Some yummy Jaffa cakes. Some baked beans with a funny label on them. And everyone's favourite, some broccoli. Now, I took off... I took off the price labels, but I've written them out as well. So the Jaffa Cakes, 65p. The Orange, 20p. The Bread Roll, 25p. The Potato, 25p. The Broccoli, your favourite, 40p. The Apple, 30 Can you stop calling out, please? 30p. The Toilet Roll, 50p. The Baked Beans. 65p, the milk 45p, and the banana 19p. Now, as I said to you, today's objective adding up money using the column addition method, like on a receipt. Yeah? What I've done for you lot today to help you with adding up is done a little chart. When we, when, we, when we add things up, we put them into the chart and it makes it much easier to add things up, and also it reduces the chance of us going wrong. So, I want someone to pick an item for me. I'm going to ask Hamza. Hamza, pick an item for me. Anyone you like. Doesn't matter. Beans. Baked beans. Okay. Jared, how much are baked beans? 65p. 65p. So, on my chart, zero pounds, 65p. Yeah? Uh, lavender, another item. The Jaffa Cakes. How much are they, Rachel? 65p. Same price, 65p. Zero pounds, 65 pence. Enoris, one more item. Banana. Banana. How much, Enoris? 19p. 19p. Zero pounds, 19p. So you can see, on the board, I've got what's quite similar to a receipt, yeah? And like the last receipt I showed you, I've kept the columns very, very clear. So when I add my bill up, the chances of me going wrong are much, much less. So my first column, 9 plus 5 plus 5. Camille? 9 plus 5 plus 5? 19. 19. So I put the 9 there, and I carry my 10 there. 19. This column. 1 plus 6 plus 6 plus 1. Medina? 13. Don't forget the one up here, Medina. Yeah, 14. 14. So the 4 goes here. I can't carry the 1 onto here because my point, it goes over to here. So it's another pound. 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. My bill is £1.49. Okay? It's really important that you carry the number if it goes higher than 10 to the next column. And it's really easy to add up that way our receipt. Okay, I'll do one more. Then what I've got for you is some little charts for you to do yourselves. So, let's have some items. Lavender. Can you pick one for me, please? The banana. The banana. 19p. Uh, Helen Louise, another item, please. How much are they? Sixty-five p, and oops, they're not working. Someone else has spoken for a while. Abdullahi. Uh, toilet roll. 
How much is toilet words, Lahi? 50p. 50p. Good boy. Okay. And so quite similar like last time, using our columns, we add them up. 9 plus 5. Hazel? The 9 plus 5 is um, 11. Samaya? 14. 14. The 4 goes here, and we carry the 1. 5 plus 6 plus 1 plus 1, the tens column. Lauren? 13. 13. Decimal point always stays in a line. And 1 plus 0, I can do that on my own, I think, without your help. It's just 1. 1 pound, 34. Okay. Excuse me, Joseph. Very good listening. So let's see what's gone in. What I've made for all of you is a little chart just like my one on the board, yeah? What I'm going to do, I'm going to put you into pairs, okay? And with your partner, I want you to pick three items from the carpet, okay? And then, like I've done on the board, add them up. I want you both to be working on this in your pairs, because I'm going to ask one of you to explain what you've done, yeah? So, uh, Joseph and Hazel, Helen Louise and Norris. Samara and Hamza, Yad and Danielle, Lavender and Chloe, Kimian and Lauren, Rachel and Tyra, you two here, and I'll work with you two. Okay, oh no, 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 stay where you are. You don't need to touch the items. Right, Hazza? So, can you pick three items? No, leave them where they are. Pick them in your heads. And then write down on your sheets the cost of the three items. Jared, let me back. And then add them up like I did on the board. Right, shiny. Red 25p. Banana, baked beans, and Do you share with Norris? Okay. Can we back in our circle, please? Back in the circle, Tara and Rachel. Yes. And Louise, back into the circle. Yes. Okay. I can see that Samara and Hamza are ready already. Well done. <coughs> One more minute, then pens down. Where's the point? You never so, forget that. Five yeah. plus zero is... Because this is the, this is the, um, the pound and this is the pen. Five. So you always have to put... No, it's because... Good. Five plus four is... That's easy. So... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus two more. Two more. So the one goes there, and one goes here. Like that. And one down here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus two more. Oh, the pound sign. Let me show you how to draw a pound sign. Like that. Okay? Right. Look in this way, please. Boards and pens on the carpet. Look in this way. Thank you, Samaya. Medina, board and pen on the carpet, please. Jared. Just waiting for Jared, Yad, and Lauren. Okay, a bit noisy then, but some good listening, and also I saw some good recording. I'm going to pick a group now and ask them to tell me which items they went for, and we'll do it on the board, and we'll see if they've got, got the idea of what we're doing today. So I'm going to pick uh, Lauren and Kim Yan. Can one of you please tell me which items you went for? Um, we went for a banana. How much is a banana? 
19p. Okay. The orange, which costs 20p. 20p. And the bread roll, which costs 25p. Bread roll, that was 25p. Okay. And then, did you add them up? So which one does this column come to then, Lauren? Um, 14. 14. So what goes here? Four. Four, and you carry the one. Yeah? Okay. And this column here, what did that come to? Six. Okay. Two plus two is four, plus five plus six, plus one plus one is six. Good. Decimal point never moves, always stays there. And this column? Zero. Nothing, yeah? Good. And don't forget the pound sign. Okay. Right. Fantastic. Let's pick one other group to show us what they did. In fact, I might ask them to come to the board and do it for us. Do it for yeah. me on the board. Uh, come on then, Tyra. Come and show what you did on the board, show the class. Can you move forward, Joseph, please? Helen Louise? And Hazel? What's the first one you went for, Rachel? Um, on the peas is three fives. Oh no, what was the amount, though? What was one the first item you bought? Um, the... Jaffa cakes. Jaffa cakes. 65p, Tyra. Good. Yeah, and zero pounds. Good. Next item? Um, the bread... No, I mean, the bread roll here. Yeah. Bread roll, 25p. See how the columns keep it nice and clear so we can see the pennies and the pounds. Good. Um, the milk. The milk, 45p. Just like a receipt, it's really easy to add up, isn't it? I should carry the, the 10p there. Good. Okay, £1.35. Is she right? Yeah. yeah. She didn't write the pound sign. I think we forgive her for that, yeah? Okay. I think what we'll do now is we're going to stop and go to our desks. So let me explain what we're going to be doing at our desks. In fact, if we get into our lines, that's probably best actually. So in your lines, if you can face the front, that's what we're going to be doing. Quickly, no? Right. If you are sitting on Rachel's table or Samaya's table, listen very carefully. Listen carefully. I've given you a little brochure, like you see in a supermarket, which has got lots of food items on it, and it's got their price. What I want you to do is to pretend that you've got £30 to spend I need to provide breakfast, lunch and dinner for two days for three people. So, look carefully on this. Day one breakfast, day one lunch, day one dinner, day two breakfast, day two lunch, day two dinner and the total. You want to create a menu for the family. So you write the food items in here, the price in here, add it up and make sure it's less than £30. If it's more than £30, you need to take off an item that's too expensive and replace it with a cheaper item. So it's about working to a budget. Okay? If you're working on Amina's and Jared's table, on your tables are some different food items with their prices on them. With £3, a bit similar to yesterday, you need to come up with as many different combinations of food as possible. So what I've done here is I've picked the ice cream, the tomatoes and the breads. I've filled in the prices and the total and it's less than three pounds. I could have chosen the cherries, the strawberries and the bread, less than three pounds. So look on the table at the food items, different combinations that come to no more than three pounds. And there are lots, so I've put two sides of the sheet for you to use. That's that table and that table. This table here, you're going to do some work with me using some money and our food objects. Okay? Right. If you can leave your pens and your little boards on the carpet and go and sit down in your seats, please. See the other good go. Right. Quickly, Jared. Yeah, 
you two don't have to share. We do. We do. Yeah, come on. Day one. Breakfast. For breakfast. What else is that? Day one breakfast. Milk. Help me skim the milk. Yeah. yeah. I'll see, let me see the cheap thing. No foot? Yes. Three pounds. It needs to be less than three pounds. Thirty pounds. Look, can you see? You have thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. But you need to buy something less than three pounds. That's their table. That's that one. Yeah. Let's buy the crisp. Zero. Point. Yeah. Zero point. Cheese. Four. Five. Oh, no. Four. A tub of ice cream. Oh, yeah. Let's buy the ice cream. <laughs> For breakfast. Day one, no lunch. Dinner. For lunch. Oh, we For should have conflicts. Is that dessert? No, no we want lunch. Lunch. Dinner. Dinner. Lunch. Lunch. For lunch, let's just do cornflakes. No, no. Three range eggs. Yeah. Yes, 
Okay. Okay. You okay? Three tens, twenty and ten. One pound there. Is it two pizza's two pounds? Yeah. Two there, zero, zero. Yeah. Or can it be one pound, one pound? All that, yes. Okay. This time I got to the dairy, I got to the, the uh, farm shop, and I bought some milk. My milk costs 45p. Who's got the correct money for the milk? Show me. 45p. Good boy. I'm going to give you a harder one in a minute because you're good at this. 10p, need a bit more? Well done, you. A bit short? That's it. 45. Okay, here's the harder one. This time, I'm going to buy the bread roll and the milk. The bread roll and the milk. Who's got the right money? Show me. So first thing to do is work out what it costs so and then give it money. So this is this, then I need to make food fat on. Yep, need to add a bit more for the bread roll. 45 and 25? Good. What's the total in Horace? What's it add up to? I've got so 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, What have we got there? So we've got 45 and 25. Good. What's the total there, Shimi? What are the coins add up to? It's 20. 70. Good boy. You're listening. That's 70. 70 in total. Well done. Let's try another one. You're good at this. Wait, Let's push you a bit harder. Okay. This time, I'm going to buy the orange and I'm going to buy the banana. The orange and the banana. Who can show me the right money they'd use in the shop to buy the orange and the banana? If you find it hard, do one at a time. That's it, two pounds. And then here, I need to write. Is that two pounds, Shami? Shami, look. Is that two pounds? Shami, is that two pounds? It's a bit smaller, isn't it? 20p. can't make 20 pounds because you don't have zero p. Jay, you don't have zero p. What's, what's this here? What's this coin worth? 20 zero. What's this coin worth? 20 p. 20 p? It's a 20 p coin. James. Let's see what you've got. 20 p, that covers the orange. And the banana. 10, 15, 17, 19. Good boy. Fantastic. How about you? How are you getting on? Not very well. Show me 19 p in coins. Hang on, boys. Yeah. What would you have with the milk for breakfast? Cornflakes? Cornflakes, <laughs> On their own? Yeah. Do you milk them and you that one? Obviously. Put it in. I didn't look at it. I didn't look at it. I didn't look at it. A bit too noisy. I didn't look at it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Milk with the carrot. What's the milk? Milk with the carrot. Oh, 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 with the carrot. Yeah, I like carrot. Yeah. Nah. Cheese. We just forgot about cheese. Cheese is okay. Yeah, get the cheese. Get the cheese. Get the cheese. No bread. Cheese. Yeah. Bread. No strawberry jam. The jam. Yeah, yeah jam. But are you gonna eat jam alone? No, with bread, man. On bread. On oh, yeah, bread. Right, jam on bread with milk. Just jam.
12, 13. How is it? 14, I know. And I've carried that. It's one, two, three. I hate you. All done. Now you try. I don't know what to do. This is very easy. It can do it in the flat. Yeah, no, it's really Got two in my left. Sauda, Jared. Right, this table. Coins need to go in there, please, for me. Rest of you, pencils in the red pots, pile of sheets, and a pile of these little cards here on the tables. Same with you. Pencils in the pots, pile of sheets, please. Who's going to be the first table ready? Looking like. Danielle's. Or Lauren's, maybe. Lauren's table, come up the carpet, please. Amina's table, on the carpet, please. Jared's table, on the carpet. And show me his table on the carpet, please. Leave the food alone. Not eating food now. Okay.
Thank you. Right. Quick, Jared. Abdullahi. Quickly. Abdullahi. Just one more child. Okay. Right. I had a brief look round then, and some children brought their work to me, and I could see that those children over here, particularly, who I asked to, to feed a family using a budget of £30, lots of them managed to do it. They looked at the, the food, they'd written down what they need, and they'd managed to keep within budget of £30. Okay? The children over here, we were using coins, and we were paying for items as if we were in a shop. And I was pleased with Anoras, Abdullahi, and also Roshi. Xiaomi, who each time I asked them, they got the right coins out, which is really, really good. Okay, just to finish off today, we're going to introduce a new um, part of money, um, which is using and identifying the correct change. So as you know, when we go to a shop, we give over some money, sometimes, quite often, the money we give is too much, and we get some change back, which is good. So Amelia, if you come up here, here a minute, it's got a little job for you to do. We're going to imagine we're at the school shop where you go and buy your nice green jumpers and also you can get book bags from Miss Tommy. And also, just for this exercise, we've got some nice Southwold rulers and some pencils. So here's the shop. Okay, so first of all, who can tell me how much does a Southwold ruler cost? Helen Louise, how much is a Southwold ruler? 30p. 30p, good. Zed, how much is a Southwold jumper? Three pounds. Camille, how much is the Southwold book bag? One pound twenty. One pound twenty, good. And a Southwold pencil, show me. Uh, that would be forty pounds. <sighs> forty pounds. Forty p. Zero pounds. Forty p. Yeah. So I'm going to pretend that um, Amelia's Miss Tommy, and I go up to her in the shop, and I'm going to buy some things. And I'm going to show you how I work out the correct change. So hi Amelia, or oh, hi Tommy. Hello. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Um, I want to buy from you today a book bag and a jumper. How much will that be? That is £4.20, please. £4.20, p. okay? Now, to work out the change, I'm going to use my number line at the bottom. And on this side, I'm going to write out how much money I'm going to give Amelia. I'm going to give her a £5 note. Oops. How much is a £5 note in pence? Um, one pound is a hundred, so it's five hundred pence. Well done. Good working out there. Five hundred pence. And Amelia's told me that it's four pounds twenty. Yeah? How much, how many pence is four pounds twenty? Four hundred and twenty. Four hundred and twenty, yeah? Okay. So if I want to, I could take away using pence. Four hundred and twenty. Take away one hundred pence. Gives me 400 pence. Take away 100 pence. 300. Gives me 300. Another 100. Is 200. Another 100. Is 100. And remember, she has 4 pounds 20. So it's 20p. Take away 20. Leaves me with 80 pence. So Amelia's change back to me is 80 pence, yeah? So I've counted back, I've given her five pounds, it's four pounds 20, or 420p, and my change for Amelia, or Miss Tommy, is 80p. Who wants to come to the school shop and buy something from Amelia? Remember, if you come to the shop, you've got to show me that you can work out the change. Uh, Let's try Z. You need to ask the te you need to ask Miss Tommy what you're going to buy, and she'll give you the price. Let's see how he gets on. And a school bag. You want a school jumper and a school bag, yeah? And a ruler. And a ruler. Okay, that is four pounds twenty four pounds fifty p please. And you're giving Miss Media a five pound note? So starting with five pounds.
Is that 100p each time, Z, yeah? OK. So it's £4.50 or 450p. He's taken off 400 so far. Another 50. What are you left with? 50 pence. 50 pence. OK, <coughs> good. My only one problem with his number line is I preferred it if he'd written as he went along so it's clear what he's doing. Yeah? He's taking away 100p each time and then 50p. So Z's change is 50p. Yeah, we're counting back. Someone else. Uh, Lauren. Come to the shop, Lauren. A school pencil and a school T-shirt. OK, so the school um, teacher is £2.30 plus... 40p, that is the pencil, is £2.70p, please. Can you give me a £5 note? Thank you. There you go. What change can you work out for her? See if she can do it. Um. Everyone else listening, because I might ask someone else to help if Lauren gets stuck. Remember, it's £2.70 she's taking away. Good. Nice, clear. Take away it's 70 now. What does that leave you with? You could count down in tens, couldn't you? So 290, 280, 270. 260, 250, 240, 230. 230p. What's 230p in pounds and pence? Rachel? What's 230p if I was going to say in pounds and pence? Can't make you tired, make your noise. Danielle? £2.30p. Well done, fantastic. £2.30 or £230p. We'd probably say £2.30 because you wouldn't give out loads of penny coins, would you? OK, fantastic. Let's have one more person before we finish. Come to the shop. Got another picture? Yes, we have. Good. Uh, Helen Louise. I had no choice because she was so sensible, sitting nicely. Let's pick her. What are you going to buy from Miss Amelia? Jumper. That's lucky. Sit up, please. A school OK, the school jumper is £3. Plus, the ruler is 30p. That will be £3.30, pence, please. Thank you. Starts with the £5. £5 notes. Jared. What was it she bought? A, a jumper and a ruler. Okay. Make sure you record down here where you're, you're going to the number line. How's it going? Come here, please. I like to sit just here at the front next to me. And 30 more, isn't it? Lovely. Great number line, really clear. So 170 in pounds and pence, and Louise? One pound seventy. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, Miss Tommy or Miss Amelia. Okay. So we finished today by looking at how we work out the change using a number line. And tomorrow in numeracy, we're going to do more work on calculating the change. And hopefully, if we do well, we'll go on to using column subtraction for working out the change. Okay. 
Time to go home now. So when I say your name, can you line up please? Yad.